On my city, I'm the youngest nigga rapping. Oh my god, oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend. Oh my god, oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend. I'm a first. Boruto will get the 10 seed gone. That is my prediction. I'm predicting that right now, and it's basically inevitable. All right, if you guys don't really know what a 10 seed gone is, I suggest that you go back and watch the Naruto, the last movie. It really dives into the Tensei Gana and the Byakugan and really tells you like how powerful the Byakugan and the Tensei Gana can be. I'm going to give you like a tiny bit of a spoiler just so you know kind of how powerful the Tensei Gana can the be. The Tensei Gana gave a whole bunch of puppets the power to become a whole army by itself. It gave the puppets and the actual chakra to become lively and move and actually attack other people which was crazy in itself. But in addition to that, it made the moon fall. I'm not going to give you too much because if you haven't watched it, I really hate spoiling things for you guys. So you go watch it if you haven't watched it so you know what I'm talking about. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be that hard to find. But back into it, Boruto will get the Tensei Gon. The Tensei Gon is crazy OP and that's not all I think Boruto will get. Boruto will end up getting the curse mark from Orochimaru. I mean, I really think that's going to happen. A lot of people think that's going to happen as well. I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen. It's just gonna happen. I'm not sure Orochimaru is gonna do it with the intention of killing him, even though the curse mark has like a high percentage of death. This guy has a high death rate, but Boruto will not die. Boruto cannot die. The show is named after Boruto, as I said earlier. So I'm pretty sure he won't die from the curse mark. The curse mark is just gonna get him extremely strong. In addition to the Tensei God and the curse mark, I'm pretty sure Boruto is gonna get the Snake Sage Jutsu just because. It's going to be extremely OP for Boruto, and Boruto is going to need that to push him across the edge, just like how Naruto got the Toad Sage Jutsu. I'm pretty sure that Orochimaru is going to teach Boruto the Snake's Sage Mode, just because of the sheer fact that Sasuke is not going to be around to teach Boruto what to do and a whole lot of Jutsu, so Boruto is naturally going to try to find a new master, and that master is most likely going to be Orochimaru now. I do understand that Mitsuki is probably, matter of fact, 99% Mitsuki is going to get the snake sage mode and Boruto is really going to learn a lot from Mitsuki and they're basically going to be training under Orochimaru together if that makes sense and just because of that Boruto is going to have to develop that snake sage mode and that snake sage mode as I said is really going to take him over the top and make him extremely OP. A lot of people are saying that Naruto is going to die, Naruto and Sasuke are going to die and to be honest, I do not think that is going to happen. That cannot happen and that will not happen. I don't think they will allow that to happen. Now, Naruto, not Naruto, Boruto is going to have to learn how to do things on his own. So Naruto will not be there for most of the Boruto chapter, either because he's been captured, he's been kidnapped, something like that. But he is not going to die. I want to put people at ease right now. I'm pretty sure he will not die. And you don't have to take my word for it, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to die. People think he's going to die because Kawaki told Boruto something. And it made it seem like Naruto's dead, but no one really knows for sure. And I'm pretty sure that Naruto is not dead. Now, Kawaki is an interesting character, mostly because he has the same marks that Boruto has on his face and on his arms. And I do think that Boruto and Kawaki were in a similar clan together. And I'm pretty sure Boruto probably thought that what they were doing was incorrect and it, was, it wasn't right. And it, he just rebelled against them. Now, Kawaki, I don't think is a super villain. Now, <laughs> it seems like such an elementary thing to say, but he's not a villain villain. Other examples of the kind of villain that I believe Kawaki is going to be is probably like Nagato or Tobi. People like that that really think that what they're doing is for the greater good and it's gonna end up helping everyone in the end which is not always the case but they're not super super villains a case of a super super villain is for example Orochimaru in part two not part two in part one when he st just started some bullshit in the tuning exam just to start some bullshit that's a real super villain another villain I'd guess is Madara he wanted to put every yeah he, that that that's that's an actual super villain. I believe that Kawaki is gonna fall into that category of a villain, but not really a villain. A villain that's kind of trying to do things for the greater good, 
And Boruto is just going to get caught up in the wrong crowd and end up having to fight his way out of it and try to save the ninja world, save the ninja alliance, save everything. In the end, Boruto will end up saving the ninja world. Boruto will end up saving Naruto and Sasuke from wherever they are. At the end, Boruto will prove himself as the strongest shinobi to ever live. And it's going to be real crazy and I'm going to hate seeing the end. And I'm going to love to see, I don't know, Boruto or poruto or whatever but that's what i believe is going to happen in boruto that's my predictions and i'm pretty sure i'm right in five years but we're going to all look back at this video and we're going to be like yo this nigga was right it's been bar b we out